Let's talk today about how to set up stop losses using Ninja Trader 8. Some of you may be new to the platform uh, when it comes to trading futures and are trying to figure out all the bells and whistles, whether it's using the chart trader or using the actual dome or the entering trades from the chart itself. Okay. So using Ninja Trader, there are a couple options in which you can set up stop losses. Uh, and I'm going to show you how to kind of maneuver through those uh, different options or opportunities. All right. And some of you may actually use ATM strategies. So first and foremost, let me switch over from my personal account to uh, a, sim a, a SIM account so that I don't run into any errors. Or I don't want to, you know, I don't want to take on the risk of anything personally happen with my uh, my own personal broker account. So this is just for this video here is, you know, to show you examples of how to be able to set up stop losses correctly. Um, so let me switch over right quick. And now that I'm in, in SIM, this will give me more protection. Uh, again, you know, when it comes to dealing with brokers, you want to make sure that you, um, you know, if you're switching back and forth between accounts or switching into a SIM, you just want to make sure you're protecting yourself so you're not uh, entering trades, um, possibly off your live account if you're just, you know, trying to practice, um, you know, any given period of time. But anyways, moving forward, now that we're in SIM, let's uh, take a look here. Now, I, what I have here is a chart trader up. And again, um, what you can do is if you're looking to, let's say you enter into a trade, all right, here using the chart trader, just blow this up, blow this up a little bit. Oops. Yeah, here we go. And you have your options here with your buttons to either, you know, buy bid, buy ass, buy market, sell bid, sell ass, sell market. Um, and then down here at the bottom, of course, you can set up ATM strategies by, by hitting this drop down here. Now, um, how do we go about setting up those stop losses in Ninja Trader 8 once we actually enter the trade? So let's say, for example, we were actually went into the market by hitting the buy bid or buy ask or whoever hits the buy market. I don't do so. When I enter my trades, most times if I'm going along, I'm doing buy bid. If I'm if I'm if I'm selling, then I'm hitting the sell ask button. So once I'm into the market, it's all about trying to figure out where am I going to position my stop loss correctly, right? But you need to figure that out before you actually enter the market. Uh, as a safety measure because you always want to know I talk about in videos where to place your stop loss first and you know Also where you are gauging to take profit at figure those things out before you enter an actual trade again This video is to show you about how to set up stop losses using the different options that Ninja Trader gives you So if we're trading from the chart say for example um, And let's say I wanted I was going to enter off of this area right here. Just as an example Okay, it's not an, a, a level of any interest for me this is my higher time frame 120 range chart. So, you know, I could go up here and hit buy bid if I'm interested once the market, and let's say this was a zone right here that I was interested in trading, I could hit buy bid, all right? Uh, so it, what it does is puts me into the market with one contract. I could change the contracts over here if I choose to, uh, two, three, four, five, however many I wanna enter with. Uh, I just simply, you know, dial up or down as far as the number of contracts. Now, as far as stop losses, once the market taps you in or you enter the market with this buy limit order, well, what happens next? Once you're into the market, you need to go in and figure out where you're going to place your stop loss at. Okay. And let's say this was just for, you know, just all say, uh, just, you know, just for all purposes, whatever the case is, that this was a, a demand zone right here. Now, again, we'll take the trade at, uh, I talk about the break and close of the candle. So once the market breaks above a candle uh, and it enters us or we've hit the buy bid button to get into the market, then let's say we're already entered to the market, say up in here. All right, we're in the market, right? For example, and then what happens is, is that uh, we want to place our stop where at at the back end of the swing from where the market starts to reject at our zone at after the break and close of the candle. So at the back end, so somewhere maybe down here below uh, 500. So what I'll do is I'll right click um, with my mouse. Okay, it's going to bring up the option for me to set up a sell a, a sell stop market order. Okay, uh, right here. So I can click this. All right, and it's going to set up a stop loss for me. Okay, a few points below from the where the market started to reject it. Once I'm into the market, I want to place it below the area where I got the break and close of the candle, uh, for safety reasons. Okay, uh, I, you primarily don't want to put it right at the back end of the demand area or supply area because then you're going to be taking on uh, more potential drawdown, and you know those areas are going to be could be could be deep zones. Okay, so you don't want to take on all that risk. Put it back at the area again. I talk about stop losses and where to place them at um, in the um, videos to the elite members who are part of that com private community as well. But I also talk about it on the channel. But again, this video is about where about how to place or set up stop losses using the Trader Eight. So right here again, 
hit buy bid. You can click on the chart. You can hit sell stop uh, market, and that's going to put you in or, or set up a stop uh, for you within the market. Okay. Now let's close this out right here. Okay. All right, come on, close it out, close that order out. Now, uh, what we can also do for all those that use ATM strategies, um, I probably don't use ATM strategies or I don't. You can actually go in here and set up, say, a, a custom um, strategy like I have here where there's one set up for two contracts, say, for example, okay? So if I enter the market, well, let's see if it, I'm going to go into edit mode so you can see it and break it down. Uh, what it has here is to enter the market with two contracts. I just set this up for an example. Uh, stop loss, you can set it up according to however you want to do it. I, I, for some reason, it's set to 40, 40 ticks. I don't want to be set to that. Let's just say I wanted to give, uh, let's say I was going for a one to one. I was going for 20, um, uh, 20, 20 ticks there, okay, which is primarily five points because uh, uh, there's four ticks in every, every point. And then I was wanting to set up, say, for example, um, that's my stop loss, set up a profit. So I, if I was going for a one to one, then I would just come in here and hit. 20 as well 20 point i mean excuse me 20 tick stop and that 20 tick uh profit okay area all right so uh let's see stop strategy you can set up your stop uh, custom wise you can set it up to where um you know you basically start trailing if you want to you could do that as well okay by doing so you go down here drop down and then you can make adjustments down well, there's other there's other adjustments to which you can make <clears throat> excuse me um, and setting up setting up the uh, uh, an ATM strategy. Right now, what I have it set up to where going with two contracts, parameter type is based on ticks. Stop losses is, is once it enters or or, or I enter the market, um, I have a twenty tick stop loss uh, and a twenty tick profit. Okay, so which means is that I have a five point stop, five point profit. Now you can change this to you know um, you can change this up here if you choose to, but I like to see it, you know, based upon the number of ticks, how I want to set it up. So I hit OK, all right, or save template or hit OK. All right, so let's see if it's saved and it should have. Yeah, 2020. So now when I enter the market, if I go up here and hit buy bid, and the market enters me in on two contracts, okay? All right, so I have, let's blow this up. Now, this is on a 120 range chart, so that's why the, the stop and the profit areas look very small. But it's a five-point stop back here, okay? uh five points let's see yeah five point stop and then a five point profit area just going in for a one-to-one -one, okay now i'm not saying we're doing that on the nasdaq of course i'm out most times i'm going for 20 point run i'm uh, not ticks but 20 point run on the nasdaq um and then some of you may go for 10 points whatever it is however you set up where you want to take profit at or where you want to stop to replace that this is just showing you another way to set up stop losses using ninja trader 8 so close that out now there's another way you could do it as 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 well. You could also do it from the dome. I'm going to quickly show you that right quick. Now, if, you, if for all those that use the super dome and then the trade A, um, I believe it may be an additional, um, you know, there's different actual licenses that you can actually have. You can have the free version, I think the monthly version, and then there's the the uh, lifetime. Um, but anyways, for all those that pay for it to use the super dome as well as part, you can also set it up to where you can enter from the dome by hitting, you know. Buy bid, buy ass, sell ass, sell bid, or going to the, going with at, at a market order. Okay, now if I was someone that was interested in this area right here and I wanted to go in with a buy bid, you can set the number of contracts off the dome just as you do in the chart trader. All right, um, again for all sake and purposes and and for safety measurements, I'm in simulation here. I just switched over because I do not want to be, you know, any crazy stuff be uh, happening uh, when it comes to. I don't trust any broker. I'm just going to say that right now, no matter who it is. I do have faith in brokers, especially regulated ones. But when it comes to actually, um, you know, I, don't, I might put all my faith into just like anything else in life. You have to be very careful in what you do. So uh, make sure for all second purposes, if you're showing examples of, of showing someone else how to do something, just make sure that if you are in your personal account to switch over to simulation or demo so that you don't just, you know, experience some crazy or erratic um, um, problems, okay, or issues that may arise. But anyways, uh, so here we go. So from here, I can hit uh buy bid okay if i want to get in with one contract all right in, okay and then once i'm into the market okay let's say i'm into the market now we want to place our stop loss uh below this area here right so if we set the back here here say at 800 okay then i want to come down okay to 800 all right you can come down here and basically what you do is that find a placement of where you want to place your stop loss at uh who was this at Oh, not 800. I'm sorry, guys. 500. I don't, I don't know, I, what, do not know why I said 800. 
500 okay because here it is right here so we want to go down to 500 okay and uh, we can using your scroll okay on your mouse the little roll okay you can uh, set up as long as you set it up and have it active um, under properties you want you can click on that and that'll place a stop for you okay so you can go down here all right place your stop area all right we're on the ask side okay not the bid side we're going to bid and we're buying we've already bought a contract so on the sell side i come it's going to put in at um uh, a certain price area a uh stop for me below the market okay i'm going to use that scroll on my mouse a little roll button and that allow me to set up a stop so i click on that and boom it sets up a stop for me all right i'm in the market and you can set up your profit of course you know once you're using using the dome you can uh, scroll back up or whatever the case is and you can set up your uh tp area so if i want my tp area um to take profit uh say i don't know just say 18 then i can click right here all right using the left click button on my, on my mouse and that's going to set up a sell limit order for me with a stop sitting down here at 500 you could do it that way or you can set up the same way using the atm strategy how i showed you the drop down if you already have a strategy set up then you can you know use set that up as well so that every time you're looking to get into the market um it'll enter in with say for example two contracts so i just want to show you that uh there's different ways close that out now different ways of going about using ninja trader 8 and setting up stop losses okay so this is for anyone out there that's not familiar with the platform and you're trying to figure out and feel your way through it just showing you some examples and i may you know can do some other videos of showing different things uh using this platform for all those that may have interest in using it okay i know not everyone uses ninja trader but this this video is for those that have interest in using them um as well so but if you found value in today's video guys and you're not a current subscriber please take the time to go ahead and click on the sub button down below okay make sure to turn on all your post notifications so you do not miss one of the uploads again for anyone who's interested in becoming an elite member will you gain access to the additional videos to while really going into detail about trade setups the breakdowns showing you where to place your stop losses where to place your profit target areas talking about the strategy as a whole and these are live trade or trades i've actually taken and i post over the discord showing you example after example of trades i've taken and breaking them down in detail so that you understand completely about the strategy and what i'm looking at if you scroll down to the description portion of the video you're going to see two links the first link is for anyone interested in joining the discord that's free the second link is to become a elite member click on that it's only six dollars and 99 cent a month but it gives you full access to those four um uh, video list okay tons of them already there of trade breakdown at the break breakdown at the breakdown going into detail okay so if you click on that link to become an elite member you're going to see two tiers pop up choose the one for six dollars and 99 cents a month it's only six dollars and 99 cents and that's where you get access to the trade breakdowns the video playlist and uh, and various uh other videos that i post on there i did a great one covering market structure uh where i spent a lot of time breaking down that concept so again you know you can learn a lot if you just by just you know just uh spending just a very minimal amount we're not talking about 699 dollars we're talking about six dollars and 99 cents that's all it is a month okay to gain access to some very valuable information so for that's that's for anyone out there that's interested that's for those that you know send me dms all the time about joining it, it's down in the description portion of the video find that link okay but outside of that if you found value in today's video i, I would definitely and, and, and truly appreciate it if you just go ahead and click on that like button i'll see everyone in the next one have a fabulous rest of your weekend